Recent events have aligned themselves in an unprecedented fashion for our kind. With even the most overlooked of us finally getting a voice. We need to be thinking about how to speak loudly as one united community. This concerns me and my ex-ven. How? We need a handsome jawline that begs trust and respect. A poster child king. Careful, Miss Frost. Don't go filling this man's head with such notions. Whose charitable idea was it to let a human be on the council? Were no others available to weep over semantics? Moira's a fierce ally to mutants, and we all agreed on a title of Chancellor. You eclectic allotment of social climbers wish for me to rule Genosha. Huh. Hilarious. One could argue, and many sadly do, that none of us would be here today were it not for you and your publicity stunt. Are there no others better tempered to stomach the squabble of human diplomacy? Aye, but Charles be gone, Magneto. And I may not like it. But if Charles trusts you with his X-Men, he trusts you with this. We were at a bar in Germany when he first mentioned his dream. I laughed at him. Was he sentimental or suicidal? Both earn an early grave. He did that smile of his, that annoying secret smile. Magneto, any dream worth having is a dream worth dying for. We thought we'd perish before seeing the day when humanity accepted our people. Like Moses in the Promised Land, we would carry the dream but never live it. Look, Magnus, I may not be Jean Grey, but I know what the professor would say if he was here. Time to dream bigger. You shall have me on one condition.